100 Black Men of Atlanta. Exclusive interview with Emmy Award winning artist Dawood Anyabuile. Attorney Brian Poe with the Atlanta Business and Entertainment Exchange, American Technologies, and Poe sent some law. I'm pleased and proud to be here today at the annual stakeholders meeting for the 100 Black Men of Atlanta here at the Marriott Marquis. And I'm here with the creative director and CEO of Big City Entertainment. I want him to tell you to introduce himself and tell you a little bit about uh, how he felt about the event tonight and what he's doing. Yes, my name is uh, Dawood Anyabuile. I'm the CEO of Big City Entertainment. It's a creative arts and animation company located here in Atlanta. And I was invited out, you know, just as a, a guest to the event. And um, it's always good to um, observe events that, that celebrate and commemorate the youth and the young children. That's what I'm about, um, cultivating the arts with the youth and things of that nature. Um, and, you know, I just enjoyed the event because actually I, I've known about 100 Black Men for a while, so I'm, I'm learning about it so I can see how I can get more involved in the future. Okay. Tell me a little bit about Big City Entertainment. I've actually been hearing a little bit. I believe you're in comics, and I've been hearing some, something about it. Sounds like you got some good things brewing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, Big City Entertainment is a creative arts and animation company, as I stated earlier. Uh, a flagship title is a comic book entitled Brother Man, Dictator of Discipline, which actually been around for 23 years, and it's, it's recognized as a progenitor of the contemporary black comics movement. So a lot of things that are happening out there in the black comics industry uh, Brother Man is looked upon as one of the, the catalysts to um, a lot of the independent uh, and also impacting the mainstream um, black comic industry. So, but what we're doing is also beyond Brother Man is developing other intellectual properties and things of that nature that can create opportunities and jobs for younger children coming along and younger artists who are aspiring to do major and epic um, projects featuring themselves. Thank you very much. And uh, so what did you feel about coming out today? Is this, is this uh, you feel like the 100 black men are moving in the right direction? It looks, everything looks real good, but are you gonna come back out if they do another event? Yeah, I would definitely come out. You know, like I said, I, I was invited out. So, um, you know, if I know about more of these events ahead of time, I, I would love to come out. I, I like seeing, uh, you know, my, my younger son is class of 2014, so he, he just graduated this week. So I definitely support the, the youth and the things that they're doing. Well, it sounds like the sky's the limit for you and for Big City Entertainment. We're going to be looking forward to hearing about some big things. And who knows, maybe you'll spurn a movie out of one of these uh, comic books that you get. Yeah, like, like Meteor Man. You remember Robert Townsend's Meteor Man? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Okay, so uh, this is Brian Poe at the 2014 Annual Stakeholders Meeting for 100 Black Men of Atlanta, and we're at the Marriott Marquis wrapping up on a great time. Now that was some great information. Don't forget to view other segments in this series featuring Chairman of the 100 Black Men of Atlanta, Henry Kelly, Ray Robinson, William Hawthorne, and Errol Davis.